Good afternoon, Aggies. This is Miguel Bagsit reporting for the Aggie TV News Department. I'm currently here at the Quad with approximately over 100 students who are protesting the proposed statewide UC tuition hike. The said tuition hike will increase UC tuition by over 5% annually. Join our march! Join our march! Join our march! Join our march! That's a disaster. Raise tuition and we'll raise hell! Roll back tuition! Open source textbooks! Number six! Living wage for campus worker MCAs! Number seven! Higher budget for sexual violence and sexual assault resources! The reason that the uh, 18th of November was chosen was because uh, this is the three-year anniversary of the pepper spray incident on the UC Davis campus. I think it's important that students are not apathetic and that they're out here fighting for something that they are passionate about. The state doesn't like to hand over money to the university because the university is very opaque in its finances. There is something wrong with having tuition hikes without adequate representation of where these funds are going and to claim that the solution to problems should come from the pockets of students instead of from other places. So we opened it up to a democratic floor. Our administration was there to take questions if we wanted to. We took a vote. We wanted to hear from them and have a Q&A. So we went back and forth. Uh, some of the questions were answered decently. Some of them weren't answered at all. They kind of went around and didn't address the question at all, which is typical from our administration. I do not want to see a tuition increase. But I also will say that the state has to come to the table and the state has to fund the UC so we can provide you with the excellent education you have been looking for. And I will say to the governor, if he comes there or to ever from the, and if I'm given the opportunity to speak, that for every dollar they do not give to the state, in reality they force you to pay. Because the only other option we will have as a university is to reduce the quality of education that we provide you, and I don't think you deserve that. I asked her a question, and I asked her, um, why did you sign that letter of support? And now you're talking about salary increases um, for um, workers. And she says, and, and the question that she, or rather the answer that she gave me was that we need to improve the workers of salaries, including educators. However, what she talked about was the salaries of executive officials within the administration and she avoided my question and two told me to stop smiling. Um, that's problematic, Linda Katehi. We would like to work with students to be able to bring a, a solution to this problem that we have of underfunding of higher education for so many years. Nobody wants to see higher tuition. It's already been very high. So my question was, if they're concerned about education and they're concerned about salaries, why don't they ask, why don't they give a pay cut to themselves um, and give that to, to people who need it, including TAs and mostly importantly students. Word on the street is, by the SAC B and other papers out there, that y'all earn two to three times more than the teaching faculty. Why is money going to that, not to education? The answer was no. And that is, I think, what we're seeing right now, is we've given the administration a platform to say what we know they're going to say, which is no. Um, we know what they're going to say. I don't know why we're asking. Well, the regents vote tomorrow on, on this proposal. So hopefully we've, we've generated enough, uh, enough noise to overturn the uh, decision, which right now seems to be that tuition will increase. But uh, hopefully we've generated enough noise for that to happen. And this isn't something that ends today with just one protest. This is a continual, perpetual fight for taking back our tuition, for having our voice heard in the UC. Just to make sure people stay active and stay engaged. Like, the fight's not over today. Even if, to, even if they don't raise tuition tomorrow, the fight's not over. The battle for the proposed tuition hikes has just begun here at the UC Davis campus, as well as other UC campuses throughout California. Stay updated as more events and news arise within the next few weeks.